Interesting. So what are you guys working on or thinking about when it comes to marketing at the moment? The nosy Parker approach. Hi guys, my name's Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today in day number 66 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about the nosy Parker approach. But before we get into it, feel free to click the link below to get access to 17 additional strategies that are not shared in this training. So fundamentally, with the Nosy Parker approach, it's always, always useful to ask to, for general information about the business at the moment and or to just ask about broadly what's happening in the area related to your niche so if for example we're selling sales training it would be pertinent for me to say oh, so out of interest richard like what do you what do you in in terms of like new business like what what what's happening internally at the moment across for example your marketing and and, and new business budgets and then richard might talk about well we're hiring a ppc guy we're hiring a P press a public relations company we're doing this we're doing that so you know, Richard might fundamentally then really get into the bones of talking about all of these elements. So all of a sudden, knowing about the PPC, the PR, gives me a lot of ammunition to go in back into the actual sales training side of the business. So really think about areas that are related to your actual service. Think about also, if you think, well, we sell a unique service, but that, that, that service needs to come from some budget somewhere within the business. So which budget or what budget is it coming from? And then what else are they spending on? OK, so that's a, a good way to think about it with the nosy Parker approach. Now, the more information that you can glean, depending upon ultimately the nature of the cold call. So remember, we're talking about cold calls here uh, and you're, you're, you're depending upon what you're aiming to do. It's information gathering or it's appointment setting or it's email follow ups. But, you know, if you can find out what's happening in related areas of the business, then that's going to be really powerful when it comes to any follow up call or appointment that gets booked in. And there's 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 powerful value in saying so out of interest, Richard. So what are you what are you guys investing in at the moment when it comes to, you know, for example, new business or what are you guys currently doing, you know, on the insurance front to, 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 to manage it? I mean, is that something that's managed by, you know, as part of your, for example, accountancy spend for your finances? Um, is that something that's managed by a specific department within the business? Like how, who's, uh, who's billing line does that fall under and, and what do they currently do uh, in that space? So, you know, asking, you know, searching questions by being a bit of a nosy Parker is definitely, definitely a good way to begin to uncover more of what's going on overall within the business so really try where you can to, to to ask questions and examples again just to spit out a few more of them would be you know so 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 what are you what are you guys um what are you guys spending or where are you guys spending kind of your your marketing dollars across the board at the moment what are you guys doing on the sales training front in general how does sales training happen currently within the business? I understand that, of course, as you said, sales training isn't something that um, happens uh, formally within the business at the moment. But what happens from, you know, a uh, continued professional develop development perspective, CPD? Like, do you guys do any in-house training? Do you work with external providers? Like, how, how, how does it work in, in, in general? Oh, what about... Um, fundamentally your your plans for tr for training training up or skilling up your team in 2020 2022 and 2023 like what's going on with that at the moment yeah oh, amazing 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 um would you say that you know training is important to you richard like do you do, do you do you go on any training courses yourself so as you can see guys I'm, I'm just being a nosy parker i'm asking open questions and i'm trying to dig and plumb to discover where money is being spent okay Assuming that your targeting is correct, money is being spent somewhere, right? So when a company, for example, says they've got no budget and they're a company of a particular size where you know they've got a budget, all that means is that they feel that they have no budget for you. So then you need to find out where the money's being spent currently and how this spend 
would either really complement that spend or be a better replacement for this spend. And you have to present a really strong business case for it. But the only way you can present the business case is by understanding what is it when they say, oh, so you've got no budget. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. It sounds like the budget has already been spent. Of course, yep, 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 it has. So what are you, what are you, what are you investing in at the moment when it comes to your marketing then? Like where, do you, where do you spend your marketing dollars um, at the moment? And what do you do when it comes to new initiatives? You know, if, if, if sales training, let's consider it like a new initiative, there's risk attached in anything that's new, of course. Like how often do you, let's call it, take, take risks with, a, with something new that, that could fail? Maybe it probably will fail. We don't know, right? The law of averages. Uh, but then every now and again, you get one golden goose that produces, you know, 10x the, the income. Like how, how does that space work within your business? Well, we don't, we don't really take risks. Okay, but do you, so do you see guys where I'm going with this? So please do get into the habit of trying to be a nosy parker when you're met with no budget, no, it's not right now, not sure, but also just to find out what's happening in general within the business to see where the money's being spent in relation to your service. And that will give you ammunition to swing back in during the context of the call. There you have it, guys, the nosy parker approach. Remember, we've got 17 one seven gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing, subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.